Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophinet the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. The Redhead Sisters are still in the Edgewater Geothermal Plant, where the mechanicals have kind of taken over. I was looking out the wrong window for a fact. There we go. There's one, and I saw one walking over there as well. So there's plenty of more robots we need to shoot in a minute. But Pravati and I were in this room because I thought there was still something here. So yeah, there's a terminal. I could hack, but my hacking skill is too low. And I can open it up with Chester's passcode as well if I can find it. So let's just do just that. Ooh, and this must be the thermal part of the... No, 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 just leave me alone. Ah, Higgins is still alive. The guy that was working on the mechanicals and found out what the problem was is still alive. So that's good. No, 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 just leave me alone. Where are you? Doesn't seem to be over here. It must be downstairs. It must be hot down there. So I feel like that's not the best place to hide. Because I feel like robots are probably more heat resistant than humans. No, 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 just leave me alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I won't leave you alone. Where the hell is he? This goes down quite quite a bit. It's a cool level though. Oh wait, there's another door over there first. Let's check no, that no, out. Just and open this up. Let's just sneak. Because there might be more mechanicals. Another locked door. Uh, I could pick it. And then we have this. It's just openable. That doesn't look like friendly gas. Steam. You're liable to get scalded. Okay, I'll try not to do that. I know that word now. It wasn't a word I wasn't familiar with in uh, English. But scald is an attack in uh, Pokemon, so... There we go. So there's definitely one still alive. I might just charge up my next shot to fire at him from over here. That wasn't sneak attack because he... Ooh, he did hit me a few times, so... So let's just... You know what? I am actually regenerating, so I don't think as long as there aren't any more enemies, should be fine. My health is gonna come back on its own. So I'm not hearing Higgins uh Higgins' uh voice line anymore, so I'm supposed to Ooh. Two more. Ow. What will happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the veil? I have no Are you talking about Adelaide? Is Adelaide's last name McDevitt's? But we send power to the veil, so that doesn't This place is big. I have no idea where everything leads. Maybe that just leads back down to where we came in. But this is another door. And another corpse. Or is this... Oh, this is the room we could see into. I'm going to check out Higgs, Higgins first. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to close this door again. I'm going to check out Higgins first. In the steam room, there's actually another terminal. So maybe I can use this... Aha, Engineering 15, shut off the steam release valves. Okay, so that's good. We get a little bit of experience for doing that as well. And then we can uh, check out these. Ooh, a revolver. Spacer's Choice takes its revolver seriously, and so should you. Then a Hunter Kit, increases your ranged weapon skill. And another Scanner, and 70, 70 credits. That's always good. And there is a workbench over here, so might as well tinker with this plasma rifle a bit. Because I really, really, really like this plasma rifle, so... Let's first... Can we repair it? How much do I need to repair it? Six weapon parts. So that just puts it back to 100%. I'm not ex actually sure how often I need to repair things, but I'll just repair it like that. And then we can... Tinker. I still don't know what tinkering is, so that increases the damage of it. And I just use a few bits for that. Might as well. That's an extra six damage, so... Yup. There we go. Tinkered with that. We can actually do that again. I really like this weapon, so might as well do it. Up to 102? Hmm. Let's see what we can do to modify it first. So why did I increase the range on the plasma rifle and add a double scope, a two times scope, or we just increase the weapon accuracy, which means that the spread is basically uh, reduced by 25%, it seems like it. 
Maybe the, the rounding is wrong. Although the spread is actually not that bad. It's only 0 0.1 degree. So I think I'm going to go with this one. The, the two times sight. And there we go. That's that. Look at that. Now we have a... Ooh. That's actually a pretty big difference. But I can still fire it unzoomed. So seems fine. I can open up this door as well. But where we, is that the same area then? I think it might actually be. So that uses half my picks. Half my mag picks. That leads us... Oh, that was that closed off. God damn it, I shouldn't have used my picks for that. But still a few items here that I missed. But Higgins... No, no, Higgins, I'm not a phantom. Just somebody who wants to help you. There's a ladder over here. So let's head down it and he should be... Or is he even lower? No, 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 just leave me alone. No, no, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want to talk to you. Maybe you can help me to explain what the hell happened here. Because I feel like Space's Choice just murdered everybody in this place to have it be run by uh, mechanicals instead. But that seems really awful. There's another gyro site in that one. So he's over here. Uh, I'm just going to put my weapon away. Hello, Higgins. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. Uh, we, we are real. Um, ooh. Sneak 25, I wasn't trying to startle you. No, let's calm him down. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. How long has he been here? Um, slow down and tell me what's going on. Clearly I mistook you for one of the Phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. You need to remind yourself back away slowly. <laughs> I love this game. Um, how long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. He talks in the third person, so and what exactly do you do here? We kind of know that already, but let's let him explain himself. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. So he's a geothermal engineer. Um, how have you been surviving? Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. A couple of months. Um, what happened? Let explain, Higgins. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. Except for the sprats, apparently. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. He missed out on the killings. Um, you mentioned being an engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. That sounds interesting. So, if you worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons and probably shooty things so let's persuade him you know you remind me of myself back when i was an intergalactic adventurer i discovered a flaw their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum there's no changing that but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead i don't know how many of them are left actually mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module someone tampered with it yes that's exactly it I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, now that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Aha, uh -huh. that's great. Uh, so, thank you, Higgins. I'll be on my way. We got enough of an explanation of what he was doing here. Is that... Pickup Guide to Mechanical Engineering Volume 3. Yeah, he told me, read that before, that he was taking that down with him. I can actually sleep here. That's probably for uh, Supernova mode or Survival mode. 
So, let's get the, the old plasma rifle back into my hand. Wait, what? Is that a hammer? An impact hammer. An antibiotic scream. Okay. Let's just grab the impact hammer. Not exactly sure. Pravati, can you use a hammer? So, her melee damage is actually a lot higher than her range damage. So, I think... I should probably, so her sword is now 133 DPS, but if I give her the impact hammer, that goes up to 142. So that, to my genius calculation, seems to be more. And I could use the plasma cutter after that if I wanted to, although I think I already have one, right? Yeah, I'm using the exact same weapon, so might as well just scrap this thing for parts. The revolver actually seems to be completely useless at the moment, so might as well just break that down as well. And get the weapon parts. And now we can move on. So the mechanical control room is the one we passed by. Up here. The one we actually started the episode in. And I needed his password to use this terminal. Modify behavior. Uh, so currently on guard mode. And guard mode targets are the intruders. I could set it to a new mode. Or not. All the mechanicals in this facility have been mandated to remain in guard mode. Any attempt to alter the setting is punishable while... Punishable by company law, your infraction has been noted in your permanent record, Mr. Higgins. Please see your supervisor to schedule a reprimand. Select a new target. Mechanicals have been mandated to target intruders. Define intruders as spaces choice auto mechanicals. There we go. Exit. So now they should be... Yeah, they start... Firing at each other, which is really good. Kill one another. So that probably means that this one one is going to survive. But at least we can deal with one. And now that we know that just activating the switches is not going to do anything. Let's just activate those switches. What happens to the veil? I have no idea. I know, I know you keep asking me that, Parvati. But it seems like we'll, we'll have to just figure things out as we go. So now we're in that room, so we went back up, and yeah, there's at least seems to be one dead mechanical sentry, but according to the, yeah, there's one still over here. There we go. That killed him in one shot, because I, of course, upgraded the plasma rifle to work like that. I also have a bigger magazine, I feel like, or I'm just imagining things. Like Mr. Higgins. So this one actually survived. I should put uh, his uh, hand up to uh, show to everyone that this was the victor. And the grand uh, battle royale between all the mechanicals. But hey, at least we, only, we don't need to worry about robots anymore. I don't know what the mechanical parts in the robots actually do. I should... I might actually be able to check that in the inventory while <laughs> now I think of it. Um, aside from all the dead people over here. Seems like it just has cell value. It's just scrap, basically. And I can't do anything with it, so... Um, it does also seem that I can actually repair my equipment from the uh, menu screen here. Which is also great, because my engineering skill is high enough. Uh, I haven't checked out the back of this area yet. Seems like there are a few terminals over there, and since I don't need to worry about the robots anymore... Might as well check out if there are, aren't any interesting items around here. Tos ball card Glen Latier. Ooh. So I'm guessing there's a, a trophy link to getting that entire collection. I would think. Also need to look uh, at these uh, consumables because there's a lot of them. I feel like each of them has a different effect and that's the last routing switch. The last. I'm not sure what the right is. All I know is the decision's final. Okay, so do we need to, now we need to make the decision, I suppose. Yeah, we can go to the geothermal master control terminal and finish this quest up right over there. And this leads back into, yeah, this area. Okay, so we need to go back up to where we were originally, which is right over here. That's convenient. Okay, decisions, decisions. I think it's going to be obvious that we're going to... We're going to move the power to the Emerald Vale, so to the settlement of Adelaide. Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just got to ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I think I do, but I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion on it, Parvati. 
I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough salt tuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Um... Reed tells me Edgewater's going to die without workers and powers. The deserters are a community, I can't just destroy what they built. Okay, Parvati's opinion, of course, makes this a bit harder. I mean, I know, I know there's people in Edgewater that also deserve that power, and it's not just the company. So yeah, basically there is no right decision, because we destroy a community either way, regardless of how you view Space's choice itself, Edgewater is more than just that company. So Reed tells me Edgewater is going to die without workers and power, but I don't want to use Reed's work word for it. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Hmm. We kind of saw signs of that already since a few of the people were running out of work. Um, and I'm not sure if the deserters as a community can fix that. Because they still need to work together to make something. And if that doesn't work out... Edgewater is probably safer. I think I'm ready to make a decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Okay. Um, but I'm glad you did, Parvati. I'm glad you did. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Oh wow, she, she was far away for that entire conversation. I felt like that was a bit more intimate than that, uh, my sister. Um, so, let's use the terminal and redirect the power. Ooh, Nelly. So redirect the power, continue. Redirect the power to Edgewater, I think. Because the bot bot botanical laboratory, yeah, I think Edgewater is probably going to be safer anyway. Oh god, this is such a horrible decision. Um, let's let's bring it back to Edgewater. Yeah, I'm going to go for Edgewater. I don't want to, if only do not uh, disappoint Parvati. I'm going to go with Edgewater. Here we go. Wow, that was loud. Thanks for for that. Whew. Additional structural damage detected, permanent power failure detected in botanical laboratory. Okay. We made our decision. What do you think about that, Parvati? Uh, you, you for some reason have your name underneath your nose. I think you did the rightest thing you could sending the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for. Even if they care much for me. Spacer's choice are now revering. Okay, we'll talk later, Parvati. Convince the deserters to return. So that's our next part here. Ooh, this might be harder than I thought it was going to be. So there's one more door in here, but I can't open it. So I might as well just leave. What is that slithering over there? A leather boa. Um, no. No, no thank you. I don't like... Slittery snakes. I don't like slittery snakes. Um, seems like we could just get out of here. Um, let's go talk to Adelaide McDevitt. Ortrus. Seems like a big boy. Okay, TNL makes the best gear for your friends and family. Companion perks. Your companion has leveled up and can be granted a new perk. Go to the companion page to select the perk. Okay. Great. Uh, 
And there we go, we level up from that as well. Seems like combat gives you a lot more experience than uh, just regular uh, missions sometimes. Or I might be reading this wrong. Oh no, I feel like the bar is supposed to be bigger, the experience bar, but it isn't. It's actually smaller than the time dilation bar. So let's check all of this stuff. Corporation Service Award, thank you for that. And let's check the corpses of the, the doggos. That was actually a really big one, Ortrus. So that's probably the trophy I got the harder they fall. And there's a lot of jewelry on this thing. Speedy made barrel and a lot of ammo. But a shock cannon. That's a heavy shock weapon. Cool. And it counts as a heavy weapon, so might as well be something for a... Uh, so, Tarot Ray. Might be something for Parvati. She likes shooting big things. Or at least I make her shoot big things. That's also just the case. Let's check out the skills. Let's put uh, three points. Because Tinkering Cost is going to be minus 50% if we're science 40. So let's put three into tech. So there we go. That made a bit of a bleepy visual effect. Then put lock picking up to 30 as well. And sneak up to 25? No. Could go even further in that. Just put. Hmm. I'll put poop, two po poop points. Two points into dialogue and two points into ranged. Um, yeah, that should be good for now. Just spread them out a bit over the, these uh, skill trees. You have unlocked the dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. Okay, that sounds great. And then we go over to Parvati and she has the option to either increase her health, increase the threat she generates. Wait, increases the amount of threat this companion generates when attacking enemies, making them more likely to, to, to attack this companion, or decrease the amount of threat this companion generates when attacking, making them less likely to attack this companion. Or increase the engineering skill when Parvati is in the party. That sounds like the better option, actually. Yeah, increase the engineering skill. Apply. Because that's plus 10. That's a lot for just upgrading a skill. Now, let's continue on our way to uh, Adelaide. Ooh. I wish I could do that. There was a, a bin here that was locked, but it has ordnance control armor. Defensive skills plus 5 and 14 armor. And then... A riot control armor, that's light armor, just increases stealth. That is cool. Decreases the noise made while moving. Ooh, stealth upgrades. And 100 card bits. That's really, really good. So this is at the back of one of those communities we saw before. So the, where everybody just basically died. I don't know how that happened. But if we cross around here, we should be able to get back to Adelaide. Let's put the gun away and see what happened here. So the power is clearly out, although, I mean, street lights are still working. But that building doesn't look nearly as uh, shiny anymore. Yeah, seems like everything is starting to break down. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. See what happened? Hello. Food's bound to spoil at this rate. Yeah, I'm I'm really sorry about all that, people. Let's talk to Adelaide instead. There's a workbench here as well, but is Adelaide inside of this building? Seems like it. Uh hello. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? I think your skills are better used to help everybody instead of just a few people that are willing to follow you. Um, this isn't personal Adelaide, I need your power regulator. You killed my garden 
destroyed my community, sentenced my flock to a lifetime of slavery in Edgewater for a power regulator. Well, shit, I wish it was personal. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. This isn't my responsibility, Adelaide. It's still your responsibility for taking people away from their original homes. Even though, of course, they're under the company's watch, um, there's still something to be said to be working together. Um, all this anger had to come from somewhere. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Sure, but that doesn't mean you need to condemn the entire community for it. Um, I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Hmm. I'll need some help convincing him. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Well, that turned dark all of a sudden. Um, hmm. But at least we're going in the direction I want this, these people to go to work together in Edgewater. Because Ed Edgewater is, the, is a complete city. They have all the amenities they need. They just need to make it work for everyone. And a garden would actually set that up perfectly. Even though she's using human corpses as fertilizer. Um, what happens when you run out of corpses? I'm not think, I don't think she'll run out of corpses. So you think that'll convince Reed to step down? I have got a means to cure the plague, and I will not share that cure until Reed leaves town. Those are my terms. Seems pretty cut and dry if she put it that way. Okay, thank you, Adelaide. All right. Uh, that's stealing, of course. No need to check their bins right now. So that means we have our work cut out for us. We could talk to Thomas and uh, Grace over there to tell them what we're going to do. But I'm not exactly sure what that's going to help. So next time, because I'm going to take a little break. Next time we're going to go back to Edgewater and try to convince Reed to leave. I don't want to kill him. So the power is gone here. We made our decision. And next time we're going to try and fix it so everybody can start working together instead. So thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, see you guys in the next episode of The Outer Worlds. Goodbye.